Okay. We good? Had enough of the fucking... Errors here? It's having a rough time right now. Anyway, yes, hello. This intro sequence of me just trying to figure things out is taking a little bit longer than I thought here. Just wanted to share the stream. That, does that have to be so difficult? Clearly. Okay. Don't know what that was, but hopefully hopefully we are over that. And while I'm doing this, I should probably say something. Hello, everybody. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Beast Scout or Robert, depending on how you want to address me. I am the main uh, content creator on this channel here. Um, we are back with some more Final Fantasy 16. Uh, we are very much into it at this point. Uh, like, very, very into it. So, if you do not want to be spoiled for more, like, endgame type stuff, I invite you to find the nearest exit thank you for joining and hope to see you guys again at a more convenient time for those of you who are still sticking around you know what's up um so we did it was all like side stuff last time but we were wrapping up a lot of loose ends wrapping up a lot of side stories um And, uh, just getting the rest of the upgrades and just getting anything else out of the way. Um, so we can move on with our next meet story beat. Um, we need to go and visit Joshua in the infirmary. Because apparently he took a big hit when he was facing af he was facing off after King Barnabas, and that is where we shall start our next beat here. Uh, if you guys are liking what you see, obviously right now all you see is a main screen. But like, if you wind, if you find yourself liking it over the course of the stream here, uh, you got a couple options. You can follow me, so you are notified anytime that I am live. Uh, you can also subscribe to me. Uh, it is coming up on the end of septem September. So all subs, including a gift sub, are 25% off if you're interested in that. Or down below, you have the links to uh, the main hub of channels there over on YouTube, myself and my friends, where most of the most of our actual stuff happens. 
Um, so... Yeah, so you got all of our, all, all the links and everything. And here we are. All set to go. Let's visit Joshua and find out a plan to head to Ash and take care of the last Mother Crystal, shall we? How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You... you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was... ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. this place <gasps> don't move It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. 
Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. After we beat you into a pulp after you went crazy? Yeah, probably. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. <laughs> you will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Dyer. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you coming! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. But he has a place and a plan. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. Oh boy. You've seen more of the world these past five years than most do in a lifetime. It's a shame you never had a moment to enjoy it. That's the thing about war, isn't it? Takes you to a whole bunch of places, but doesn't necessarily allow you a lot of time to uh, actually take in the sights there. Are we locked off? No, we are not. Might do some hunting before I still say we're a compliment. we continue on. Especially because there are certain items that we need for increased armor and weapons. Yote, he's here. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that you are worried about your prince there and you know, fucking lover or something like that, because I am almost convinced that they could be romantically involved. Um, but he's here. He's in the hideaway. Telemon made. Thanks again for helping get the dungeon in order. Had you not rode gallantly to our rescue, I reckon poor Wayne would and Lot and them Lot would still be stuck in stealing blight water over a bonner. There's always room for improvement, though, so don't get your knickers in a knot should I come knocking at your chamber door looking for more spheres and ash and whatnot. Yeah. And tell makes four. Clive. 
but there's one crystal that needs cracking. But one man can, can do it. See that you don't miss. This is really giving like point of like final point of no return vibes here. I will not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to Eastport. But as soon as the rebuilding work is complete, I promise to return. You missed a whole big thing over at East Pool earlier. So we're trying to figure out where you were. <sighs> but I, uh, I suppose I digress. What do you got for me, Nectar? Did I tell you about the time I journeyed through sudden Ash Koopa? Through Orkish lands. Mm. Well, technically they're dead lands now, but the orcs don't seem to mind. They found a way to survive without mother crystals, just like we have, Koopa. There was a good. Caravan of traders traversing the Velcroy told me of a colossal beast they had encountered on their journey. They let them tell it, but the sweat which ran down their foreheads was cold. And the fear of their eyes were real. Tricephalic terror. In the Velcroy. Okay. Okay. Guess we're taking a quick trip over. Might be a quick trip. Maybe. Meanwhile, everybody's still... Got their fucking knickers in a bunch. Why the hell Why the hell did that boss get? About a bearer being in their midst. Gimera. It's a chimera. Kind of. We're not gonna work on this one. Stay close to the Everything's fine. That didn't count as a fucking... Uh... Parry there? Oh, 
Oh, you dick. That hurt a little bit. Okay. Ow. Don't fuck around. I would. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> gotcha. Very hard to time that. It's alright. There we go. Not as bad as our previous S rank encounter, I'll tell you that. And Orc Outcome. Nice. Should have picked on someone your own size. All right. Not as bad as I thought. Now, I know that there were a couple things open at the blacks the blacksmith. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of happy What do I owe the honor? Oh, I spoke to Va Javast. The sound of ringing still. Has filled the streets of Javast since before anyone can remember. And there's not a smith's worth of salt who didn't pretense or apprentice under one of the village's masters. Me and Zoltan worked old Vulcan's foundry until our lungs burned and our skin turned black. But we were happy. So we won. Things change. People change. And we can either change with them or we can stay stuck in the past. Me and my old mate, we've chosen to put a past behind us so that Javosh could have the f have a future. A future where young smiths can be proud of work done well and work done right. Just like here. Who knows? Maybe someday my apprentice will be someone else's master and work them just as hard as I do him. <laughs> What's that for, India? Okay, so I have the Ulrich Alchem, but I still need the other, the other pieces there. Uh, 
Oh, I need more orichalcum. I need more. Okay. So I actually need five orichalcum? No, four orichalcum. Is that it? So I need one more. Um, he thinks I'm going to wind up finding it amongst... They've been pretty generous with making sure that we have everything that we need for upgrades. Unless we start selling it here. I do not think so. You'll not find a better price than that. Alright. With that little detour out of the way. <sighs> Buck off. I still say we're a compliment. Say it all you like. It doesn't make it true. What did you do, Mid? I was wondering when you'd arrive. I had a little side trip. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for Mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a shit blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm. The one they call the last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea, Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say, naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. 
and Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive? You had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, then. So we just happened to stumble upon the one open pathway into a loot. We just happened to stumble upon it. What will it I be love today? it. What is it that you wish to learn? Uh, Here you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. But, but who has... Taria, is that you? Oh, your turn. Stay strong. Oh, my Lord Marquis. It was the greatest honor of my life. To be appointed protector to his grace. I have served him in that capacity since he first began his journey across Valisthea. The purpose of which was twofold. To further the Undying's knowledge of Ultima, and to further his grace's knowledge of you, my lord. After he learned of your survival, your brother insisted that we try to trace your movements. Thanks to the investigations of my fellow acolytes, we learned of your having taken the name of Sid. But now... Our journey together is at an end. His grace bids me remain here and protect those you and he hold dear. So I bid you. My lord, if I might be so bold, please look after him in my stead. Your companions are kind indeed. Everyone has been most welcoming. Lady Talia has been especially gracious. Though I know something of the medicinal arts, it is hardly enough to warrant the acclaim of one so skillful. I must admit. At first, I doubted that her praise was sincere. We undying are trained in what few simple skills might serve us in the field, but there is certainly no praise for those who excel in such endeavors. But I see now that this is your way. You encourage each other, that e each might lend their, s this, their strength to the cause, no matter how seemingly slight the contribution. All right. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. For Joshua? Anything. 
Uh, Joshua. Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. Okay. We head off to Rosario once more. Grab some medicine, help her brother. Let's go. Ugh, excuse me. Don't even think about it. <clears throat> well, identifying the area of the aqueduct is not hard. All the ether is the aqueduct. Now to find our stone wart. Yote mentioned blood red petals. And a bunch of fucking goblins. Just my luck. Well, I won't be picking anything till they're gone. There's only one thing for it. having such a hard time identifying the fucking patterns here. Fuck you. Fucking stun lock you had me an asshole. One place. Here it is. Better collect as much as I can before reinforcements arrive. All right. 
That should do it. Let's get these back to Yote. My internet is having one hell of a time right now. I fucking hate it. To like pick and choose the fucking times that I'm able to stream this game. Because I have such a full schedule already, both with work and with other games to, pl to play. And the one day that I'm able to play it, my internet decides that it wants to fucking play... Play around. <laughs> Today, Clive visited the infirmary to have me dress the laceration on his left forearm. I cleaned and stitched the wound and instructed him to rest the arm so it could heal, but not an hour later, he was leaving on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he's disobeyed my instructions. Next time he comes to me for treatment, I'm tying him to the bed. <laughs> Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Stone and water. One of the few varieties of flora capable of resisting high concentrations of ether, this herb is most often found in and around ether floods, where the fauna that would feast on its on its nutritious roots often fall prey to their Akashic cousins if they don't turn themselves. Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. A nice short mission, but one that really highlights how much these two, both Joshua and Clive, are important to everyone and to themselves. With a magical sword, obviously. God. It's almost, like it's, it's almost like you don't know Final Fantasy or something. Anyway, Joshua, you learned anything from Tomes? So long as, so long as you're talking to him and not me. I have no reason to assume I'm... Clive, you must listen to this. Norseman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm? What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. 
it would appear the past still has much to teach us, though in this case it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Hold on, we're just gonna skimp over that? If it please your grace, might I one day borrow the chronicles for a short while? No, hold on. Of course, Lordsman Hippocrates. You need we're, to ask. We're just gonna skim over the fact that fucking Harpocrates was studying under Master Chronicler? The one who wrote the fucking books on Volusia and its history? Jesus. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill. The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and Pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, definitely... Definitely giving me a pit in my stomach there, especially with just Joshua and Clive going, but even leaving Jill behind. I don't like the fact that we're leaving Jill behind, but, you know, what are you gonna do? That being said, this seems like another point of no return, so time for another split save. Honestly, can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Heading over to the Shadow Coast, finally setting foot on Ash. 
The land long having fallen victim to the spreading blight, now even the most meager of scrubs struggles to draw life from the ether drained cliffs that loom above the barren coastland. Now, does that mean that we're going to be cut off from our magic here? Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you, will save us all? I do. <sighs> then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. Don't worry about it. Always wanted to visit Ash. All right. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Well, that answers my question right away. We do still have all of our abilities intact. Which means magic is not blocked off. Also, damn, Joshua. You are far from the meek little kid that we knew you as once. God. That was quite a fucking right hook there. And yet he has a point. Also, we locked. No, we can go back if we want. Um. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav? Fuck. I completely forgot what I was about to say. 
Just putting Clive in his place, snapping him out of his uh, solo mentality there. We all need somebody like that in our... Uh, this place is as dead as Greek as ghost. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Somebody always... We, we need somebody like that to snap us out of our negative mindsets. I don't care who you are, you're always going to find yourself in some sort of spiral at some point in your life here. bit of a Dark Souls vibe here. I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and a cash here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. He thinks they did not. I'm gonna guess that they did not. Not a big, not a big fan of the uh, the single drum here. Timpany. Shop. He has to know we're here already. There's no way he doesn't. Did they dispel my fucking tornado? Who the fuck's casting protect, mate? This area is way too open. Also, I can ride Ambrosia here. I can. Look at that. Come on. You deserve a rest. Ah, oh. uh, hello. Is this a, uh, yep, pandemonium. 
It's a bounty! And it's level 45, which is not... It's the king of the castle. What is happening? Whoa! Okay! You have shown me what you're about here? Okay, ow. Rictus of Horror. Don't like that. Do not like that. Thank you, old boy, ain't you? Ah, damn. Enough. Again. Ow. I fucking called my block here. Teleport into it, shall we? Oh, God, fat ass is blocking me. gonna break my block.
enough with your fucking teleporting Kamehameha attack here. <laughs> Shit, mate. Jesus. Give me that level up. Stained loincloth. Modesty is not a trait that comes to mind when one thinks of an orc, so it is a mystery why they bother to wear a loincloth at all when the thin strips of cloth only afford nominal protection and leave not to the imagination. But there are some scholars, however, who argue that they are vestiges from who, from when the creatures were more civilized and serve as proof of a devolution of the species. All right, then. Your reign is at an end. Well... I was certainly right about that. Though I'm down a couple of uh, potions. That's all right. Seems, everything seems to be going a little too smooth, you know. It's Camber all over again. Where the hell are the royalists? Yeah. Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clive. Nobody here. Like they knew that a war was coming. Or some or something. Trying to think if there's anything in here that might spruce up my uh, stuff a little bit.
just don't seem to be doing it for me anymore here. Grab ignition for that. Gouge is still good, but the aerial blast, it just makes it really hard to see. So we'll do this instead. And then... change it up a little bit actually use some of the abilities that are afforded to us here if it doesn't work I can always switch it back that's quite a welcoming party delegation we should send a warning to the others no my uncle will have an eye on the coast i trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests our mark is drake's spine and there's a lot of road between us and it we press on to stone here hi you never know it might not be an esther slaver and monsters <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do, mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. Don't mind me. I was just change. I was uh, testing out the new moves here. I was just saying I need to uh, I need to remember that I actually changed up the moves, but I'm sure I'll adapt right quick. Crap. This place reeks like a mobile's arsehole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that'll kill us. Doesn't have nearly as much maneuverability 
as just the teleport, but it'll work. Although with that said, I wonder if it'll be it would be better if I put that on that and have impulse here. Yeah. Yeah, that seems a lot better. Any new enemies to fight? Gonna fill up my decks. Oh, that's even better! And then with that, I can just... Oh, but it stops. It stops at contact with an unmovable force here. Okay. So that's the downside to it. But even so. That takes down the Saturn Gauge real quick. Oh. Interesting. Do I have to, do I have to keep holding up for it to work? Probably. That makes all too much sense here. I'm going to try out this with multiple targets here. Oh, we're leaving. Ah, okay. I didn't even notice that bird there. I see that little hidden nook there. Rip mud crab. Real good. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! 
I saw that. I saw that ending. Of course. No, the Chronolith. Masamune? What? It's worse, though. The warriors of those islands situated off the far eastern coast of the southern continent are a curious lot, choosing a cloistered existence upon their lonely archipelago, seemingly content with the constant squabbling over lands within their own dom domain, as opposed to setting out to claim territory anew. This is fortunate for the rest of the world, as the warriors are peerless when it comes to swords play. That's Masamune, all right. Can't mistake that 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 blade there. That's not. It's it's a shame that it, it's weaker though. But I do have a new skin in case I want to change up the sword. Although what we have right now. Ragnarok looks sleek. Yeah. In case you weren't here for other parts, I have thoroughly decided that I am not doing any of the Chronoliths because it is just kind of unnecessary challenge for me. I don't know if, like, it... I guess it increases your skills at the very end, supposedly, but, like, I feel like I'm doing fine just on my own. So. Plus, I mean, I'm fucking... I'm, I'm playing story-focused. I'm not here for Dark Souls Challenge bullshit here. What the fuck? Speaking of bullshit... Not the bird. Ow. That counts as a big enough enemy. All right, go figure. That didn't work out. Ow. Gaining health? What the fuck is happening?
Am I stuck? Jesus Christ. Well, rip my high potions. I'm gonna try to avoid those guys. Seems like they split and then, like, absorb back together, depending on how much health they have. Kind of making an almost invincible pattern here? So that's what I saw, unless more just kept appearing. Oh, a big bridge. Surely nothing's going to happen on here. Oh, how much breath. Uh, don't look down, Toggle. <laughs> okay. 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 That's a that's a high bridge. That must be Estla. Question is, are they going to be friendly? Or alive at all? What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter gap! No quarter! That was effective. God damn. Question for later, but the answer is most likely yes. Curian. Who's casting cure?
<laughs> Don't die. It's fine. It makes total sense. As advice. Don't worry about it. More of us. Great. Got a big brute. Not enough? Is he in it? I have no idea. Ugh, I hate that move. Hate it. Didn't know I could get fucking stun... stun locked from having it broken! Come on! There's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Have you come to watch, Odin? <laughs> Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this!
Well, that's new. When can you do that? mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <sighs> oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If His Majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, we don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Maybe there's something here we can use. Well, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Jesus. Excuse me for a minute. Just want to check to make sure that particular picture I took was up to snuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to make a wonderful fucking cover. Also, just give me just a little bit of time here. Also, I'm sure that they're not stupid enough to allow us to actually tra- <laughs> Well, bye! <laughs> My fucking god, I cannot believe that they did- that they allow us to fucking transport out of there. That fucking ruins the entire illusion. <laughs> Still alive, are ya? Not that I care. Yeah, uh, sell Masamune, cause I don't need that. Unbelievable. I know I got some goblin coins. There we go. Fifteen of them to be exact. Nice twelve thousand here. It's better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. That is so dumb. That is so fucking dumb that they allow us to do that. Hey, I got the, the Sons of Ouroboros. Nice. Two fathers did the Devourer beget, and like their father, they would look ever forward to the past. Upon placing the smooth leather cuffs upon your wrist, they cinch tight to your skin in an oddly warm embrace. Removing them requires more effort than it should. It lost you a good while. Damn straight. Of course, we can't reinforce them. Makes sense, but Bye. that is one... There's one piece of equipment down, two to go. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. It certainly is. I reckon I can find a buyer. Perfect. <laughs> I cannot I cannot believe this. I cannot believe they would allow us to just fucking teleport back to the to the hideout. Not that I'm complaining. I needed I needed more high potions anyway. Yep. Uh wait. There it is. Uh 
Tartarus, Pandemonium. Those few souls who were able to escape from Ash before the skies changed tell of Pandemonium, the king of the orcs who led his fellow beastmen to revolt in Waluda rule, or against Waluda rule. Though his rebellion was swiftly crushed by King Barnabas' armies, many of the orcs who now roam the twins, sating their appetite for human flesh, bear his markings, suggest that he still commands his forces today. Or at least he did before we kicked his ass. So we are still good to go in terms of bounties here. What will it be today? Uh, I'm just Allow clearing out you. shit here. Here you are. The state of the realm. Oh no, I have made an error. We can go back, but now we have to traverse all the way back there. Okay. Well, we'll make the journey in just a few minutes. I'm going to step away, put my plate in the sink, and do all that stuff. Please don't go away. We got some more Final Fantasy 16 coming soon.
that moment when you finally get back to your room and remember that you forgot the initial reason why you went out there in the first place. <laughs> and I did go to take care of the dishes and take care of, you know, yada yada, but also to switch out laundry. And I completely forgot the laundry. So, good job, me. All right. For us to fucking wander our way back. Hopefully, you'll at least let us out. I hope this isn't <laughs> fucking soft luck us here. Fly, Ambrosia. I didn't, um, didn't think about the fact that there wasn't a fucking obelisk there. Oopsie. And of course all the enemies respond. It's fine, everything's fine. Everything's fine. us back in. That would be a very unfortunate oversight if it didn't. Okay. I can walk from here. Whew. What is that? I thought it was in a certain... Unless it's just surrounding that central area there. Which probably is. Either way, I'm saving again. Not only because I don't want to make that walk again, but also I just... That... That was a bit of a risk for me to do. Alright. I thought we got them all. So did I. Huh? Got who what now? Also, there was an obelisk right there, and I failed to trigger it so I made that walk for nothing I am so smart uh, S M R T I am so smart human Uh, 
Miss. <laughs> Whoa, easy, easy. We're not turned, all right? I feel like we're gonna find out that this is like the medicine girl's mother or something. Edda, forgive me for asking, but what went on here? It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad, minds taken by the ether, till only I remained. By then, I was too far along to run, and, and then the nights came, and I didn't know what to do. told us when we misbehave about how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath the end of the world you said the others went mad but where did they go they they all left East to the tower to reverie. The elders, the healer, the blacksmith, my husband. You thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. Then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower, that's where we'll find the king. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be. Vessel, Ifrit. Garuda 
Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. But... Where is the fiend? the founder. <laughs> so that's what you want, isn't it? So that's how it's going to be, then. I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> Aye. Don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. <laughs> Besides, I'm not alone. That Torgal. Um... So, <laughs> Ultima's vessel ironically got split in two by this bloodline, obviously needing someone to awaken as Ifrit when the time is right, but also the vessel is technically not complete until it is fused with Phoenix. Which means that if Freet was if Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow. And so will I. Which means that If Freet was always bound to be born amongst Rosarian lineage, I think. Or at least that would make the most sense. Oh god, actual spiders. Ew. Ew. Fuck out of here. Burn it. Burn it with fire. here, huh? Okay. Moving on. More literal spiders. 
think, actually. How many legs do you have? Because I was watching Alan, Susie's brother, play DMC 3 the other day, and he said something very interesting that kind of opened my eyes. That, yeah, these ones too. Most spi- wait, hold on. I can't tell if that's three or four. One, two, three, four. These ones are drawn with eight. But most spider enemies in games are actually drawn with six legs instead of eight. And that was something that I had not personally observed until recently. Please don't let it be another fucking challenge rock. Please let it be something worth my while. I'm also coming amongst like a bunch of fucking fallen ruins here. turned around here. Plague. Another one. Dick. Take that. And a little bit of this. Oh, damn. That wasn't close enough. Oh my god. Fuck you. that real quick. Good to know. I'm saving. The edge of infinity, huh? Well, isn't that telling? This is it, boy. Yeah. Was that fear and uncertainty that I heard in your voice there? Say yes. I'd say you're actually scared, which is completely understandable. So first we got Isla, a sprawling mining settlement abandoned by its miners and claimed by Akashic. 
and then the edge of infinity. A perilous descent into shadow awaits all who venture into this forsaken valley half devoured by the blight. And reverie. A single stolid spire rising high above the deadlands to pierce the very heavens. Time for a fight. I've come for you, Barnabas. Stay close, Torgo. <laughs> The Last King. The tower. It's alive. Mm. Echoes of the Fallen kind of go where Ultima is, don't they? Oh, you thought you could get me from behind. Once again, as always, I will always fucking give credit where credit's due in terms of the or orchestration of these games, and this is... God damn. Yeah, it definitely gives that combination of relic and futuristic. It's like a crossroads. Okay... Okay, what do we got here? some sort of bomb alternate here. and their effects look so cool in this lighting. I love the fallen ruins.
Seems you are unaffected by this. It's alright. Still does damage. I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> I've certainly gotten used to this combo real quick. Satisfying. Hello. Got some wigglies over here. Wiggly jigglies. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh shit. Please don't separate. Animation. Well, that was easier. Still don't understand those enemies, but guess it's not going to separate when there's just one person. Nice. Hmm. Time for an elevator battle. Or not. Whoa. If I were Barnabas, where would I be? Right at the top. The top. So I could look down on the world. There we go.
What the? Oh. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Maybe I was a little afraid. But I won this game of chicken. Is this tower? I mean, it did say it pierces the heavens, so I guess pretty damn tall. I love how the darkness is pierced by like the little things of light every now and again. It's really cool. Hello. A little bit. It's a big guy, I'll give it that. Laser. I was trying to dodge into it, I swear. I think I found my new combo of moves here. What was that thing? Hopefully there aren't any more. Eh. Wasn't too bad. Of course we're about eight levels ahead of it, but I digress. God, how the hell am I going to go back to OG7 after this? <laughs> oh, goodness. I'll find a way. It's a Hello. You know what to do, boy. Ascension. Well. Don't need to waste any of my moves on you guys. You you guys basically mean nothing to me. So, like I said, we got two door two doors to choose from here. Probably have to go into both. Oh. 
or it's gonna rail railroad us. That works too. Normally you don't like being railroaded, but this is fine. They just love their elevator sequences, don't they? Don't get me wrong. I think it's great. Oh boy. Hope I didn't miss anything. That door was closed. Hello, orb. We are just fighting an orb. Oh, it's a control node. That makes sense. Oh, of course. You spin. You're an orb. What? What, uh, what else would I expect? Oh shit. <laughs> Let's not trash talk the machinery here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's not do that. I can do that too, buddy. We are not going to think too deeply into how I just pulled down an orb. I mean to do that, that worked out just the same. That's fair. That's a good trade. That's a good trade. Slice. Oh, hey, a friend. Two bosses in a row, you shouldn't have. What's one more, eh, Togo? <laughs> Jesus! 
fast. Time to set up my attack here. You tell me you're at least taking damage from this. Miss the opportunity here. Wow, you recovered fast. Salt cannon. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to do that. Die. Not my best performance, but that's okay. I got through it, which is all that matters. The crown. Coming up to the top of the tower. You can tell it's the top because it's raining. Do not know how the setup is going to go against Barnabas. He's here. I can feel him. But I'm sure we'll muddle through somehow. All right, Barnabas. You and me.
The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. But ya. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep, they roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning. Stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open, and so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. And now you are mad with power, or corrupted, or not even of your own mind anymore. Just saying. What madness is this? My worth proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see... Paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering, Shall I prove my faith once more? So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? <clears throat> what you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. <laughs> the 
Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. Once again, our rematch with Barnabas. This time, just a little bit stronger. I do know that I'm doing fucking chip damage to you, mate. Don't you? Hey! Don't do that! That's fucking cheating, mate. Come on. I'm better this, than this. Come on. There we go again. Yep. Here comes the second wave. Oh no. Let's not do that. I'm gonna die. Still hurts. Once again, we have a battle of battle of wills here. The will to live out your freedom versus the will to serve a lord. Priming already? Come now. Desperate, are we? <laughs> you and me both, said Clive. That's exactly what I was thinking. Here we go! Odin versus Ifrit. Mythos. You will not defeat me otherwise. 
as weak as your god believes. Good boy. Good boy. Damn it. Anyway, he's not man anymore. He is purely made of ether, and I am 100% convinced of that.
Yes, <laughs> you're fucking Sensitsuki! Could it be you've made a weapon of your weakness? <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> that was awesome! That was you fucking awesome! <laughs> Shit. Gathering darkness. No, you don't. No, the fuck you don't. No, the fuck you don't. Also, he has totally lost it. He has absolutely lost it. No, the fuck you don't. Dying. Dying. I tire of you! Fuck your gathering darkness. Oh no. Salvation is come. Rejoice is our souls of granted. Peace unending. How do you know this day will come? What proof have you? I need to test. Your mere existence is proof of the Lord's grand design. And you once and for all, Barnabas. Oh no. Mining moves. What the fuck? Oh, you fucking cheater. Two, three... Oh. I can't attack him. This is bullshit. Get down here. Oh, 
Are you tired, Barnabas? Whoa, 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 whoa! The fucking voice filter just makes it seem all the more psychotic, and I love it. Motherfucker. again. This is so cool. Come on, give me more points! He's done. He's done! truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. Thus ends the battle between the last king and the forgotten prince. Dark Shard. The power of the icon Odin made manifest. This crystal, the shard of crystals, is as black as a moonless night, and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear. And thus, if not now, soon will signify the absorption of the final icon.
He relinquished nothing. What was it, if not will, that made you strive for a new world? Strive to win your master's approval? I... You were shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. And that world... That world is worth saving. Even if it means killing a god. <laughs> I promised that I would make you presentable, did I not? We shall fulfill our destinies just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Long lost salvation. I'm coming home. Tell me, how does it feel? Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their beam? To edge step by trembling step, ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. <laughs> oh, it's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again.
A vessel complete. Oh shit, that's a lot of Akashic. Mayhap they are the wrong men. Well, I'll be damned. Our numbers are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needed. Gather the bodies them all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life, and I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. Know that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it.
Farewell, Terence. Clive, thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. They are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You safe. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lords. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned, albeit by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Uh, he didn't consider a killing or a mercy of sorts, a way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What 
what are we? We are dominant. That is our fate. But that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Barnabas said something else. That the Mother Crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? We know that the Mother Crystals have been leading the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the Blight. cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a fruit that he desires, but a fruit and phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless there is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether, and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then, only this time. We face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. Brotherhood. The power of darkness. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Odin's essence. Tuning with Odin not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Gungnir, a frantic flurry of attacks that damages all enemies within range. And his feet, armor of darkness, can only be used can be used to temporarily transform Clive's weapon into Odin's legendary blade. Landing attack slowly turns the blade, ready it for a Zantet Sukin, which is executed by holding square. And so Sukin potency is determined by the blade's charge at the time of the execution. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. What? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, our final icons abilities here. Gungnir. Summon the legendary blade, some legendary spear Gungnir and execute an extended flourish of deadly slices and strokes. Each hit lands, fills the dent at Tsukin Gage. Oh, okay. Heaven's Cloud. Surge forward to strike an enemy. Can be executed multiple times in succession if previous hits land. Each hits land... Okay. Okay. I like what I'm seeing. And then the Arm of Darkness was the third one. Rift Slip. You used to recover immediately from an ability or an action. Not so much, but okay. And Dancing Steel. Summon a second blade to unleash a flurry of attacks. 
I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's time to replace Garuda's. Okay. The question is, how am I doing this? Garuda served us very well for a long time. Let's go near. Okay. We'll just test it out. it at will. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see if it makes a uh, suitable replacement here. I also appreciate the... Okay, I appreciate a lot of it. First of all, a spell in the making, a spell 100 year spell to end all spells, very much a reflection to Final Fantasy VII. To Final Fantasy VII. Um, with uh, Meteor. Meteor spell. Um... But also, like, it's good, the spell is going to be Ultima, which is, you know, kind of the spell to end all spells in the, in the Final Fantasy universe there. Um, but also during the cutscene, I do appreciate the fact that, um, they use the actual Final Fantasy theme in such a different way. Like, I just really appreciate the use of that motif there. Oh, up ahead. Somebody else lives. Albeit barely. Is there no peace for a dying man? What happened here? The ether floods made savage priests of my companions. And those faithless orcs, I knew they weren't to be trusted. We were told that they would stay loyal to our cause. Something commanded their loyalty, but it was not us. It's a wonder they stayed faithful for so long. Perhaps they sensed our downfall. The king is gone. Our nation in ruins. <laughs> what becomes of us loyal pawns now? Sworn to a shattered throne. Fuck Wallowed. <clears throat> Fuck the dead king and his god. <clears throat> This withered shithole. That's about right. The flood.
floods do not affect you. You are a bearer, albeit one who's lost his brand. Pray, hear me, brother. Will you grant this pawn his final wish? Will you lay my dying soul to rest? Of course. Of course. What do you need? Oh, finally, some luck. Beyond the castle walls, towards stone here, there is a forest. Never turn. My parents are buried upon the bluff, nestled amongst the trees. Theirs was the only love I ever knew. I was torn from them in life, but perhaps I can return to them in death. Take my ring. See that it rests beside their bones. May you find peace at last. I hear that. I hear that fucking menu theme. That... I mean, that fucking... That piano... Uh... Pattern is iconic. Oh... Speaking of motifs... Don't tell me. The only way to the capital... ...is through that gate. Just as you surmise. There's an army down there, Joshua. <laughs> yes. But I don't see any dominance. Yes, boy. <laughs> that could, that could, like that's a fucking move set that could just be used on its own. That's wonderful. I love that. And also temporary is very generous. Or maybe the other way around. Like it very much understates the amount of time that you get for that sword there. Whoa! Fucking dark flames. Nice. Amber. A bright orange gem. Its edges worn smooth by countless years of pounding in the surf. Lapidarius will pay a hefty sum for large specimens, free of impurities, but it is the impure examples, namely those in which insects, lizards, and fairies are attuned, that command the highest prices, mostly among scholars and the occasional mad alchemist. And clutch mine. For centuries, these strange egg-shaped clusters of ore were ignored by Walud's Pikmin, since clutch mine is brittle, dull, and of little use in its own right. But when it was later discovered that the substance could be added to metals to increase their strength and hardness, it was mined to the point of exhaustion. Hmm. Interesting. No. 
Now, I guess my next question is, does that Zantetsuken gauge stay between sit switches? Try that out with this lindworm here. It does, it does. What was that? Whoa. It has its own counter? Max Sensitsuken! Oh my god, the damage! The damage, bruh! Oh, that was good. That's really good. That actually gives me a reason to do parries now. Because there's actually some merit, more, well, there's more merit to it. That's alright. That is way okay. Oh god, I wish it charged just a little bit faster, but that's alright. Every damn sinew. Lean to level two or higher since you can five times. <laughs> Okay, if he's 
guys. Although I guess I won't have the ability to pull down enemies anymore. That is... That is something to think about here. Fuck you, I'm still holding the button. Oh boy. Oh, holy shit. Cool, another one of these guys. Okay. Let's get rid of the cavalry first here. Totally dodge that. Shut up. Uh, give me level three. Give me level three. Give me level three. that some more potions. I haven't been using them all game and now I'm fucking sucking on them every five seconds in these battles. That is level 45. We can rest here if you like. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Mm. All right, if you say so. I don't like that. I do not like that.
Look, Clive. By the founder, the place is a fortress. Just one giant fortress esque building after another here. Also, does that not scream endgame to you guys? Because that kind of screams endgame to me. If I know my Final Fantasy, and I think I might know my Final Fantasy just a little bit. Maybe not as much as other people, but I think I know my Final Fantasy quite a bit. Um. A giant fortress like that usually indicates either huge boss battle that leads to the end, or is the ending. Because, I mean, I just have to look at my final, my favorite Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VI and Kefka's Tower, to give all the reasoning that I need. Just saying. Yeah, okay. We'll pretend that's how that works. Oh, dead. Yo, I love how we can just fucking use Antetsuken basically whenever we want here. That's awesome. And the gauge stays. That's just that's just one. Mm -mm -mm. That's just fucking chef kiss here. Oh, you seem fun. Hello, Lich. Okay, you just switch to it any time during a parry and it does that. I love that. Oh, that is so exploitable. <laughs> Using fire attacks against a bomb would be a good idea, and normally you would be right, but in this case, logic does not apply. What do you suppose that is? It's not on Vivian's map. Probably for a good reason. Right. Just down here. 
That looks like an arena. That is ye old ancient arena. And I am damn sure this is going to come into play just a slight bit later. Because like any good map, most spaces that are conspicuous are not there just to be there. They're, it actually serves a purpose one way or another. on this side? Yes, there is. You are Zantetsuken father to me. Nice level five there. Stored away for a rainy day. Another amber, which is more money. No villages. No knights. Mm -mm. Not even any bodies. One could almost believe the whole kingdom had turned to Kashyyyk. And one would be right, from the looks of it. I mean, look at how much of this field is just covered in ether. Ridiculous. It's lagging the game out. <laughs> there are too many effects on screen. The PS5, the, excuse me, the PS5 cannot handle it. <laughs> Always check conspicuous areas. Anything you want to come out and fight me here? No? Alright. Moving on. I've not been using my basic spells as much as I probably should have, but that's just because the fucking like physical martial combat is so much fun. Ah, uh, there's the obelisk. Excellent. Good, because once I'm done with this little side quest, I'm going to retreat back to the hideout because I am sure, I am damn sure there is more shit to do. We have at least two or three more, um, fucking targets to find here. Bounties, bounties. I can never fucking remember the word bounties, even though that was the majority of the fucking pillars of Eternity 2 playthrough, was just bounties. Not that you'll hear me complaining about it. Oh good, a linworm. Yep. Nice try. Oh my god. That was so inspired by Virgil's by Virgil's move, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Oh, 
Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe Virgil's move was inspired by this. Either way. It is flashy as fuck, and I love it. Again, the fact that the combat director for Devil May Cry worked on this game shows so much, and that was just like a, just, just a blatant, just like, hey, here's a nice wink, wink, nudge, nudge type of thing here. left of it. As fine a resting place as any man could hope for. Reunited with those he loves at last. Ravenwit walls. So high are the ramparts of Ravenwit, of Ravenwit, one might see the Iron Kingdom from their crown. Or so they say. Why is... Hello? Oh, I guess because it's in the vicinity there. sense you'll not find a better price than that it'd better all be here you're rubbing me blind you know yep totally am Thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. I said the Empire. Ah, uh, this one. Okay. things to boil in the mind. 
change up the mood here a little bit. Still be kind of somber, but not... Not sad. What'd you want? Everdark. Which is worse. <laughs> Even so, we'll forge it anyway. In, in darkness shall he ever wander, content to her cold embrace. Not bad, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Anything else? Whoa. Very sleek. Very nice. Very nice. Again, not as good as, as Ragnarok. Which makes me think that we were supposed to do that mission just a little bit later, but... They offered it! So we got more shit to read. Which we'll probably do next time. Cause I'm not breaking my fucking jaw at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> One must understand one's place in the world. Study it well, Clyde. Yeah, what's going on here? Oh, it's the, yeah, it's the Brandeline invasion. Here's the latest information I have. God, all these dead people. All these dead people. I still don't understand why Sir Tyler is... Un unless he's going to come in at the fucking last minute. I don't know why he's not marked dead. I don't, and I also don't know why that's fucking bothering me, but, you know. High Cardinal's still alive. Terrence is still alive for now. <sighs> Forces to absorb the power of Odin. It's a good power, though. That's the, the worst state of, of it. The realm is ever changing, Clive. All right, what do we got? Holy shit. All right. <laughs> a rogue goblin has been sighted several times in the benefits of Isla, presumably drawn by the stores left behind when villagers departed for a reverie. Though said villagers will not be returning, we shall surely seek to reclaim the village for mankind once this is over. I suggest that we end the goblin's misery for now, before he tears the houses down in search for his sustenance. Alright, so he's in the village. Beigel. Amongst the diver, the diver's beasts that make their home in Walud, there are many that seem not to be the creation of nature, but some of some malign god. By ghoul, by ghoul, is one such creature. A cat that um, takes an almost perverse delight in hunting down the few survivors of the human race. They used to vibe on the far continent, toying with them as a child might a doll, complete with the chewing of their extremities. <laughs> okay. Oh, so that's in the area that we were just in. Agni. A band of curse bearers making a first foray into Wulud encounter this creature near the road through Halfcomb. So, uh, th th those with memory of Ash before the fall knew Agni as a peaceful beast, when worshipped as the Yarokona of the North, the Aether has since addled its mind, sending it barreling hither and yon, crushing anything in its path. To end its torment, torment would be a mercy. Usher to the Underworld. Travelers of the Gilded Path share stories of the Crystal Giant, a beast who haunts the path less trodden, eliminating the shadowy canyons with the unmistakable blue glow of Aether and painting them red with the blood of his victims. If our suspicions are correct and this creature is another construct of Ultima, then only by laying him low might we be truly begin to live on our own terms. And the Blood Moon. After the collapse of the fallen civilization, their technology... 
um, slept silently within the ruins of their airships for many a long year. However, of late, these echoes of the fallen have of the fallen age have begun to awaken, attacking any strangers on sight, presumably as they were designed to do. While some are easily escaped, these, this particular echo pers persists in pursuing its targets until they die or lie dead in the dust. Well then. The Croc and Titan's Wake. <sighs> when I got some of them right now, that way I won't have as much to do. Next time. Oh, it's you again. Thanatos. That makes sense. That makes sense. What was it called? The Usher of the Underworld? Yeah. Say hello to my little friend. Are you... Just gonna fucking spam that attack this entire time? You're boring. Trick me. Rude. Oh, here comes the laser again. play that game, you can play that game, and I play it better. Oh, 
Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Dark steel. Extremely similar to iron, yet darker, harder, and heavier. Whatever fell magic's ultima employed in its creation, the metal has thus far proven impossible to reproduce. Obtained by defeating Thanatos or the Prince of Death. And don't come back. All right. Um, where was the other one? Shit, I don't remember. It's somewhere in fucking Sunbreak. I think it was. I'll know it when I see it. I'll know it when I see it. The croc. There it is. And, of course, no place nearby. All right. Let's go. Fuck off. So here again, huh? Isn't this where we fought that fucking dragon? Back to the stables, go. This bitch is on fire! Okay. So that's the parry, and then I have to attack during the parry. Interesting that there was kind of a little mini encounter here. Oh well. A little more experience for me. Does not hurt a bit.
All right. Let's go. Terminus. Which is just a bigger, meaner control node. Weaker. In level. I should I guess I should say weaker in level. Fuck you. That's half your health gone. How do you uh, how do you feel about that? I suppose you don't appreciate it much. Ooh, not at all. All right. Surge. Alright. And you die now. I just got a meteorite for it. Boo. I'll get something a little bit more valuable than that, but whatever. stuff do you have? A favor of darkness. That would do it. Do not. An excellent choice. Come back again. Feels like you're mocking me. Why does it feel like you're mocking me? Um... <laughs> What is that called? Oh, it's called going near. I need the one for going near. Alright, you goblin fuck, where are you? Like I said, every area is used in some way. It is not wasted. Gobermoosh. Fuck. 
Look down, not on its level. Jesus. Yeah, no. No Goblin Punch for you. Wow. You survived that pretty darn well, actually. Holy crap. I also just noticed the fact that he can't be staggered. Not that it matters. Just an interesting observation. Primitive Battlehorn. As goblin communication seems limited to a painful cacophony of, gro of throaty grunts and raspy wheezing, the beastmen will often employ carved horns such as this one to send messages over long distances. Your journey ends here. Jesus. Alright then. Actually... One is over here in Critton Hollow. One is over here in Halfcomb, honestly. <laughs> Might as well? It's not necessarily taking me a long time to take all of these targets down, and the more I do now, the less I have to worry about later. I'm already going to be spending a decent amount of time next time just... doing some more of reading of uh, Tomes' books there. Though we should be getting to the end of putting that shit together. It seems kind of almost full. The last time that we looked at it. No nothing, huh? Alright. Unless we can't get to this target yet.
unless it's behind those doors, in which case that's not going to be accessible until the game tells me it's accessible. It's Mr. Roly Poly! Little callback from the beginning of the game! Mr. or Mrs. Dude, I don't want to be presumptuous there. I'm doing about just as well as the first time around. Could have died from that. I don't know how the fuck I got a parry off of that. I <laughs> got it. Didn't get that one though. Roll into it. Roll into it. <sighs> and you're dead. <laughs> Love it. 
stone tongue. Even should one manage to survive the rows of diamond hard, serrated teeth lining in Archaeosaurus's jaw, it is likely one's reprieve will be short lived, as awaiting one just beyond is a granite tongue sure to finish the job. I've had warmer welcomes. Alright. So that just leaves us with one mark left, which hopefully will give us the final piece of equipment that we need. But I'm not doing it today because getting anywhere near that place will activate another slew of cutscenes. Which I am not so keen on doing right now. It is four o'clock in the morning. Aye, it's a dangerous world out there. Yes, it is. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You're the one taking my money. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, Karen. What's up? What do you want? Give me that Ouroboros. So shall the end feed a new beginning. Having found this leather belt adorned with the ancient seal of the devourer of worlds, your search for the perfect wasteware is over. Or has it just begun? It'll last you a good while. It certainly will. Which means that we just need two more Orocalcum and one more Dark Steel for the God of Damarung, which, again, this game has Anything been else? very good in giving us what we need, so I'm sure I'll get it, hopefully by the end. Clive. It's... Coin purse weighing you down? Yeah. In a sense. I reckon I can find a buyer. I don't think we can farm Orocalcum. I think it has to come from... Sanfonian, do you? No? I don't know. Like, it's not saying that I need to defeat something for it. I don't know. I have to look at it. I have to look it up later on. But, I'm a little bit more tanky now. Any little bit to help me get a leg up on Ultima would be great. Getting close to the end here, though. I feel it in my bones. So, next time that we play, which I think could possibly be Monday? Only because of the fact that uh, I'm not going to be streaming with Chris... I have worked from 2 to 10. Big surprise. So, I might sneak this in again. If I do, then we will continue on our way, talk to our Parkides, read up on some more lore, then head back out to Ash to head our way over to Ultima, make a side trip to take down one more target and see where that takes us, and let's go from there. Um, tomorrow... Or, I mean, this is really only applicable to those who are watching this right now. Um, <laughs> tomorrow, or today, Thursday, I will be back here with Susie for some more Kingdom Hearts 2 as we start to take on the rest of the absent silhouettes and the data fights. Um, Friday, over on Chris's channel, we're going to be doing some more Pokemon Violet DLC 1, the Teal Mask. Um, we'll see how far we get into the story. The general idea is that we're going to focus on finishing that. And then with whatever little time we have left before we can't do group streams for a bit. Um, then we will head back into three houses and do some more of the cinder shadows dlc so that'll be friday and saturday in a nutshell 
nothing for Sunday. Monday, usually I would be streaming with Chris. Uh, we would be stream. We would be starting Bayonetta 2, but because of my work schedule, it's not happening. So it might be more 16. Um, Tuesday will be some more Baldur's Gate 3 with myself, PJ, and Susie over on the YouTube channel. Uh, most of the stuff is over on the YouTube channel. The only other things that are here on Twitch or is Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy 16. Um, and then we'll go from there. Um, I think that's about it. Um, as I said, down below, you have the access to everybody's channels if you want to take a look at more of this content. My main hub is over on YouTube, uh, but I stream here on Twitch every once in a while just to keep it fresh. Hopefully get some new people over to that other side. I met some great people here in the Twitch chat as well. Um, as I said, these are the last few days of September, so if you are interested... In subbing, it's 25% off. Or gifting and sub, it is also 25% off for this last week. Um, Chris is doing his own series on DMC1. He just started one last Wednesday, uh, the first stream last Wednesday, where he took about halfway of the game done uh, with Susie as a co-commentator. So if you want to watch that, there's that. And you'll hear more about our other prospects on other days here. I'm just kind of blown hot air at this point. So if you're just here for some more for the Final Fantasy 16 stuff, I will see you guys back here on probably Monday for some more of that. Otherwise, I will catch you guys on the YouTube side for the most of the content. Or I will see you guys here tomorrow for some more Kingdom Hearts 2 with Susie. Um, yeah, that's about it. You guys have a good night, sleep well, and see you guys later.